What if only a machine can defeat another machine? The Enigma code-breaking machine is now well known thanks to films like The Imitation Game. But there would have been no codes to break without Sergeant Amelia Marshall, as she was known then, and her colleagues. The Air Force took it from the air, air part of the Germans, but I was in the one that took it from the German army. So mm. the German army's Morse code letters, they were they sending... Were letters. They, sending codes, weren't they? They were sending letters, and those that those letters like B-O-A-D or something like that, to them meant something, but it didn't to anybody else, you see. So mm. you were the ones that knew how to do Morse code, yeah. and you were writing to, down what the letters were. I had to receive were. Morse code, and we received the letters. And you were mm. quick at it too. Mm. Oh, yes. And when I'd finished, I was one of the fastest, and that was why I was made a sergeant, because I could read it quicker than the other people. Amelia was 21 when she began work at Bow Manor Hall near Loughborough. She intercepted German code, which was passed to Bletchley Park to be deciphered. So, yeah. secrets of Bletchley Park. Yes, there we are. All the memories in here yes, for you. Yes, and here's it. the very room, you think, that you worked in. That, yeah, I'm sure that was the room we worked in. And that looks mm. a bit like you, that photo of it you does, from behind. It does, yeah, it does. Do yeah. you think it could be? Could be, yes. There were generally about six signals going through and you had to pick your signal because they gave you a, a sort of kind to li a, a call sign to listen for, see, uh, whatever it was, and you had to pick it out of these six other ones and hang on to it like grim death. And you were known as Mickey, weren't you? Not oh, yeah. Amelia. Yeah, because they, oh, I've never heard of that name. What's your surname? I said Marshall. Right, you're Mickey Marshall from now on. So for six years I was Mickey Marshall, <laughs> never Amelia. Oh, God. Yes. Sometimes it is the people who no one imagines anything of who do the things that no one can imagine. The films have brought to life the techniques used in the Second World War, but doing it for real sent Amelia down the route of ham radio. That's my amateur radio call sign. Yeah. D0KXZ, and people that you're contacting or, or anybody else listening knew that you'd done over 25 words a minute in Morse. We went down to Trowbridge for three months to learn all these cue signals. Yeah. And just mm. one more thing, can you remember any Morse code now? Uh, well, I don't know. I've not tried. I expect I could. I bet you could. I, yeah. I bet it would all come flooding back. Yes, yes. My name, Fran, F-R-A-N. Mm. What would that be in Morse? Um, uh, da did it, did da did da 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 Fran. Wow, could you say that again? <laughs> da did it, did da did da 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 Fantastic. Thank you.